Y'all see crypto taking off like a motherfucker. Zan, what's poppin'? I ain't gonna lie, I bought me some Shiba today. I had to take a risk, man. I know that motherfucker up. You're not supposed to buy shit when that motherfucker up, but I bought some anyway. I put like a dub in that motherfucker. If I lose, I lose, shit. That shit been up 100% every goddamn day. Drop a mixtape or something. I'm dropping, um, y'all know I'm dropping into this month. I got some new shit dropping into this month. You on my YouTube, I done dropped a, a whole mixtape on that bitch anyway. You gotta subscribe to my YouTube for exclusive. My shit be exclusively on that motherfucker. You gotta go find it. NLT, I got an NLT coming out on um, November. I got a few coming out in November. I'm working on some, I'm working on some NFTs right now as we speak. The link for the NFTs, I dropped the link for the NFTs soon as they finish. I got an artist working on the motherfuckers right now. Then I'ma get a minute and all that type of shit. Why you be, why be what? I'm going to put the album on Apple Music. I just dropped exclusively on YouTube right now. But I'm going to put the album. When the album dropped this month, I'm going to put that motherfucker on Apple Music. Crypto got now up. The market up. So you know I'm going to drop now. You feel me? Everything going up. I'm getting extra money. I'm getting all kind of extra got now money right now. I need some, some low-cap coins. I'm trying to find some low-cap coins to put some money in that's like... A fraction of a penny, you feel me? And them bitches run up. I ain't trying to miss shit. I'm trying to got down. If you put a thousand in on um, Shiba at the beginning of the year, your shit worth three million right now. So I'm trying to find one of them. Nigga, a thousand in January and your shit worth three million right now. Make sure to do the NLTs on the Ethereum blockchain. Yeah, it's going to be on Ethereum blockchain. I might do one on Solana too, you feel me? Solana blockchain. Unless, I might do one, I might do one on that blockchain. What happened to Forex? I never did no Forex. You never heard Forex come out my mouth. You ain't never heard me say no shit about no motherfucking Forex. I don't do that shit. Only thing I ever talk about is crypto. Crypto ain't got down loud and some zai, you feel me? Crypto and zai, the only thing you ever heard come out my mouth. You ain't heard. I talk about what I know. That's it. I talk about what I know. What's the wave right now? There's plenty of waves. Like, if you got... If you know money and track money, if you got a little money in your pocket, you can make some shake, you feel me? The key out here is to never blow all your money. Like, if you get 20 racks, you feel me? You got now, you need to put 10 to the side, and then, you know, go spend like three, splurge on yourself a little bit, because, you know, nigga been broke for a long time. Most niggas been broke for a minute, so you got to go treat yourself a little bit, put that 10 to the side, then spend three on yourself, use that other seven to start a little business, you feel me? Or got um figure out what you could put a little money into. I know some ways, I just can't say I'm on here, you feel me? It's always a proven way to double that sum. That sum I'm talking about to the side, it's always a way to double, triple that motherfucker. If you know what you're doing. The key the key to life is never go broke. You feel me? You should never be broke. 
Like, if you got certain bills, them motherfuckers got to wait, you feel me? Unless you got kids, you know, take care of your kids. Kids come first, you feel me? But all that other shit, man, that shit dead, man. You never blow all your money on no shoes or no goddamn clothes or something, you feel me? Like, I buy, I buy a bunch of clothes because I can afford this shit, you feel me? But if you can't afford that shit, nigga, you need to stay down until you come up. If you, if you only got like 20 to 50 racks, why you trying to compete with a nigga like me? You feel me? Like, I got M, so it's no point. And I ain't trying to shit on nobody, but you only got 20, even a 100. You, why you trying to compete with a nigga who got M's? You feel me? Like, you gotta stay down till you come up. That's the way this shit go. You gonna blow all your money, compete with a nigga who got way more money, who still gonna have it when you blow your shit? You feel me? You gotta think about it. Niggas don't know how to stay down, man. They wanna ball. They don't wanna crawl. You feel me? They don't wanna crawl before they ball. You gonna lose every time. You gonna crash out. You gonna go broke. You feel me? That's dumb. That's dumb like niggas who buying these perks and dying off fentanyl. You feel me? Niggas is idiots. Facts, I got K. Real what? You can't trade crypto in the streets if the market is down. You supposed to buy when the market down, then you supposed to stay when that motherfucker go up. You supposed to buy when shit down. You buy when shit cheap. Then you have a little patience and you make your money when the shit go up. Everybody want to jump in when the shit already popping. We, I be on this shit in January. You feel me? I be staying down. Everything I do, I stay down. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the internet just lets you run it up. This shit ain't no stocks. Stocks take five, ten years for your shit to got down, um, come together. Nigga, this shit took some eight months if you bought in at the right time. And they always have some money. You feel me? Always have you some money to the side. Ready to hop on the next opportunity. Always put you some money to the side. Listen, all these shit, this, all this other shit these niggas talking about ain't the wave. You feel me? Like, I be knowing the wave. I ain't trying to toot my own horn. You know what I'm saying? But you know how this shit go. Nigga, I know the wave. You feel me? I see around the corner. Listen, every nigga who, every rich nigga who make it out the mud, see around the corner. Seeing around the corner means you see what's finna happen sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's like an intuition. Why the fuck are you gonna follow a broke nigga? You feel me? Like you wanna follow a broke nigga? What, what that's gonna lead you to being broke? Niggas always, oh man, that's this nigga a rich nigga and this and that. So you gonna follow? You need to follow a rich nigga if you wanna be rich. Listen, this is the way it go: follow a broke nigga if you wanna be broke, and follow a rich nigga if you wanna be rich. It's simple. You feel me? If you wanna be a basketball player, you gonna follow LeBron or KD or Kyrie or Steph Curry. If you wanna shoot three if you follow Steph Curry, right? If you tall, got some hops, forty inch vertical, you can dunk and shit. You gonna follow a nigga who dunk? You gonna follow a nigga who ain't got no hops? You feel me? Like. This shit ain't rocket science to get money out here. You feel me? You fuck with the crypto shit, follow some niggas who know about the crypto shit. This shit simple. Litecoin. Bitcoin. Yeah, I make, I be making, I, I make good money on Bitcoin. I bought this shit when it was 29000 this time. What's it at right now? 54? 55? You feel me? What's going on the sauce? I can't talk about sauce on here. You feel me? Like, like my, the sauce I got, my shit don't, my shit work all the way back. Nigga, this shit will work in the forties and it'll work in 2040. You feel me? Like, I know permanent sauce. If I get low, I know sauce. What you think about Sheba? Sheba, I feel like Sheba building the ecosystem right now. They building, they building an ecosystem. I gotta go read into it, but I ain't gonna lie. I put, I, shit, I put a little money in the Sheba today because the motherfucker might pump. I said, fuck it, I'm gonna take the risk on that motherfucker. If I lose it, I lose. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna do shit but spend that shit on some clothes or something. I'm gonna go, I put a good little 20 in that motherfucker. You feel me? I go spend that on, shit, I spent 10 on some DR yesterday. I might as well put that shit in the Sheba. You feel me? I ain't tripping. 
but Sheba could, that motherfucker could fall off because it's been pumping so high. Like I said, you never buy one shit in the green and that motherfucker all the way in the green. I just had to take the risk. It's going up. It's a fraction of a penny. It's too cheap right now. If you bought it in January for a thousand, that motherfucker worth three, you, you, you made 300 million. You worth not 300 million, three million. You are three million. So if you bought it for a thousand in January, you are three million right now. Where you be finding sauce? It's easy to find sauce. Like I, I said it in a previous live way back. It's easy to find sauce. You should make an only fans for the sauce. But see, I don't sell sauce. You feel me? Like, I sell music. I do music. I don't sell sauce. You feel me? I'm not making no OnlyFans and getting on that motherfucker. I rap. You feel me? I do music. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with crypto. I don't, I don't do that. That's not my livelihood. I get on here. I put y'all on a little game. You feel me? I'm not doing all that. What's popping, gang? How you living? Yeah, sauce in the music. Go by the music. You feel me? Like, I'm always talking about what the new wave is. I'm always on the 2022, 2023, 2024 wave. You feel me? I'm on the new shit. I'm in the new cities. I'm in the tech cities. I'm in Austin. I'm in Frisco. You feel me? I'm where they do the tech at. I'm always moving around that motherfucker. You feel me? I'm trying to see what new companies in the pot would have put money into. You know what I'm saying? What you think about Sheba? I just told you what I think about Sheba. I think he could pump. Is it dunk? Or that motherfucker could pump? You feel me? I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's too, I just had to put some money in to take the risk. She was going to drop. You think that motherfucker going to drop? If it drop, I'm going to lose some money. You feel me? I'm, I'm willing to take the risk right now, though. You can strike it rich on that motherfucker. I'll take a little gamble. I ain't tripping. What you think about Ada? About Ada, I think Ada going to um, go up. It, it'll go up when the altcoins go up. Ada, Solana, Cosmos, Avalanche, Hex, Tron, um, all that type of shit. I bought a little Axie Infinity. I seen that motherfucker was doing numbers. It's a game token, you feel me? So I bought some of that motherfucker. I ain't gonna count to you. You cooking up? Yeah, I'm in the studio right now. I'm finna start cooking up. Houston, Texas, man. Trying to put some work in. You trying to put some work in? It's always, I respect the nigga who trying to put some work in, not the nigga who always asking and begging, you feel me? A nigga who trying to put some work in, I salute you, you feel me? I don't care if you cut grass, none of that shit, you feel me? At least you putting some work in. These niggas will sit, these niggas will be at home broke as fuck trying to join a nigga who got a job, but they ain't got no money, you feel me? Like, where they do that at? Where to send beats? Send beats to, um, I gotta make a new beat email for you to send something to. I'm gonna make a new one, then I'll post it on my story. Um, where to send you beats? Facts, real shit. What you wanna say? I'm willing to work. You willing to work too? I mean, shit, if nigga want jobs, I give nigga some jobs. You know, it's always work to be done around this motherfucker. You feel me? You just can't be no, like, you can't be no scary ass nigga. You can't be no goddamn. Cause one thing about it, niggas always come around talking about they got, um, solid and this and that. Then got, um, when the situation presents itself, niggas show they true colors. You feel me? 
I could kind of like, I can kind of read niggas from the jump anyway. Like I can look in your eyes and see if you got, um, if you solid or not, you feel me? I like to like weave niggas out, you feel me? Like in a group of niggas, I can weave the sheep out, you know what I'm saying? But like when you come around us, you got to be a monster by yourself and a monster amongst, amongst us too. Best place to buy crypto. It's a lot of it's a lot of spots to buy crypto. You got um Coinbase, Coinbase Pro, Voyager, Binance, um, it's all kind of places. Crypto.com, Gemini, all kind of shit. Just when you go to Google, just search that motherfucker. Depending on what you buy, it depends on what coin you buying too. Cause you know different exchanges got different coins on them motherfuckers. Bitcoin ATM. I was thinking about buying one of them motherfuckers. I want to see how profitable them motherfuckers is. Where's the best place to move to in the next 10 years? It depends. It depends where you want to move in the next 10 years. Like, if you, if you trying to start a business, then you want to move where a lot of people at. Like, if you trying to start like a restaurant business and shit like that. But if you got now, um, if you want some internet shit, it don't matter where you move, you can make money from the house. Like me, I can't do no apartment. Like I can't live in no apartment or no apartment building. Like I like my space and I like a yard. You feel me? Like I don't like living bunched up like that. Like that ain't it for me. All kind of niggas in my business. You can't play your music loud. Niggas all up under you. You feel me? That ain't, that ain't for me. What's up, little mama? But yeah, I don't do that apartment shit, you feel me? Unless I got like a whole flow, like I can buy the whole flow, knock the wall down and make that bitch one big penthouse. That's what I'm on. Yeah, I like my privacy, you feel me? I don't want no nigga hearing my conversation. Goddamn, I'm on my balcony talking. It's a nigga down there with his ear out listening. And you, you know niggas always listening to some shit. Niggas always in the nigga business, you feel me? Me, I mind my business. Like, I'm the type of nigga, I mind my business. That shit ain't got nothing to do with me. What's up, little mama? What's that? And then, you know, them apartment complexes, niggas always watching. They always got their eyes on you. You feel me? Like, like they try and find out your schedule. You supposed to never have a set pattern. You supposed to never come home at the same time every day. You supposed to throw niggas off. You feel me? Once a nigga know your schedule, you feel me? You know how that shit go. When did you get? That motherfucker just went too quick. What about options trading? I don't. I don't know nothing about that. I don't. That ain't really my lane. I'm going to sound to write a book. Yeah, I'm going to write a book one day. Put y'all on some of this knowledge, you feel me? Put y'all on some shit. You know, niggas think it's cool to be dumb. I don't know. Unless you're an athlete. You know, some athletes now really got that much intelligence. I said some, not all. But I don't know too many. I don't think I know one dumb billionaire, you feel me? Like. I don't think it's one dumb billionaire. So if it's cool to be dumb, I let niggas be dumb. You feel me? That's what niggas want to be. Y'all niggas be that. You feel me? I'm trying to get these multi millions of billions. Even like athletes got them, them niggas is intelligent in what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like a nigga who think it's cool to not know nothing. A nigga who think it's cool to just know the streets. You a pawn. You a pawn in the chess game. You get what I'm saying? Like, you just, a nigga just using you as a pawn. You just a chess piece on the board. One of them front, one of them rows. You feel me? You the small piece on the board. That's all you is. A nigga just move you around and got now crash out for the king and the queen. You really, you really a peon. If you think it's just cool to know the streets, you really what you call a peon. You feel me? That's it. 
everybody think they can get over on you. Like on, on some real shit, like in, in real business settings, if you don't really know shit, these business people, these record labels, these banks, all kind of shit, they think they can get over on you. They not scared of you, you feel me? Cause they know you scared of 12. They know when 12 come, you ain't gonna do shit. You gonna talk all that shit, then when 12 come, got, man, you gonna go to jail. Nigga, them folks not scared of you. Them business people not scared of you. They just, they look at you as a pawn. You just a pawn, you feel me? So any nigga who just think just the streets is cool, like I came from the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like I know the streets, I fuck with street niggas, but any nigga who, who think just the streets is cool, you're a pawn, you're a peon. It's like a nigga got bigger goals than that, you feel me? Like nigga trying to buy jets and yachts and shit. Have all kind of acres, have thousands of acres, you feel me? But everybody don't think the same, so you can't. But what I, the other shit I said was true though. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just be no pun or no peon out here. You don't want to just be satisfied with just a little bit of nothing. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to eat what you want. Um, every day you want to be able to dress how you want every day. If you see Dior Louis, nigga Prada, whatever, you want to be able to buy that shit. You don't want to window shop. I know niggas get tired of window shopping. You feel me? Niggas get tired of goddamn walking in the mall just looking at their partner buy shit. I know niggas get tired of that type shit. You wanna go get some money, you feel me? You can do it though, like. Nigga, you catch the right wave. You gotta know how to catch them waves. You can do this shit. Anybody can do this shit, nigga. This ain't rocket science. Shiba in you is not the next. Nah, Shiba not the next Bitcoin, it's the next Dogecoin. It could be the next Dogecoin, you feel me? If you caught Dogecoin when it was a fraction of a penny and that bitch went to, what's it at, 24 cent? You struck rich. Top three books that changed your life. A book didn't change my life. Um, A book didn't change my life. Um, Common sense changed my life. You got common sense, you've changed your life. A book just helped me learn extra shit. But a lot of shit in books be common sense. Books tell you common sense shit. Save money. Um, invest in this. Books tell you common sense shit. I'm locked in to the grind. Thought a plug. What changed your life? A plug, nigga, white collar changed my life. You feel me? Like, nigga, Zach kept my head above water. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you sell loud, you know what's going on. Like, if you ain't just going out there and you, you getting it for a dirt cheap price and you doubling up your money, that should keep your head above water. You feel me? Like, on some real shit, like, I, I had to hit a lick to get up real quick. You feel me? That shit kind of gave me a cushion. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was keeping my head above water. It put it like this. I was like at, I was like at 10 racks, like a steady 10 racks. Then I hit, boom, struck. You know what I'm saying? I was up to 35. You know what I'm saying? I used to keep it behind my washing machine. Boom. I keep the 35 behind my washing machine. I thought I had a lot of money at the time. That one shit. I didn't know that one shit. You feel me? But to me, it was because it was a steady 35. I kept my bills paid. My bills probably was like 3,500 a month at the time. You feel me? And then my partner put me on some white collar shit. White collar shit had me making got a hundred racks a month. You feel me? Easy. Fifty racks, eighty racks. I was striking off the white collar. You feel me? That that shit really made me laugh at anxiety at the time. You feel me? Like, and I had a cold plug. I had met a cold plug by then. But once that white collar came in, nigga, no re up. You know what time it was. Thirty five felt like a hundred, nigga. Thirty five, nigga. A fifty felt like two fifty back then. You feel me? Cause I had never had that. How can I strike a quick a hundred k? You gotta have some. You gotta. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta have. You gotta have a little bit of resources out here. And know who you talking to. You know what I'm saying? 
niggas be capping like it's just so easy to make money. Like, if you ain't kind of plug in, it's, it's a little bit harder, you feel me? Nigga don't put you on no swiping or no goddamn white collar shit, you feel me? It's a little bit harder. You not money and shit, bro. You put money in. Oh, you yeah, I'm in here. I put some money in she. Yeah. I put a, I put some money in she boy. Yeah. Oh, I'm all live. Oh, am I interrupted? What'd it do? That's a big dog right there, man. She went up another 40 something percent today. I had to put 20 rights on it real quick. I had to I do it. it. <laughs> in traffic, I couldn't do it. Man, if that bitch go to one cent, it could, you know, if you put in a thousand at the beginning of the year, you are three million. I know. That is insane. Hold on, let's see what that shit is at right now. Yeah, it's up forty percent today. Man, that shit is it's it's incredible. You might need to put just a ten in there just for, for the hell of it. Hey money, this is my boy D boy. This money man, what's the deal, man? What's poppin'?